Are cell phones radioactive? Let's find out. In my last video, I showed off this special machine that makes invisible radiation visible called a cloud chamber. Here, for example, is a radioactive thorium mantle, and each of the lines you can see is a trail left behind by a particle of radiation. Here's some uranium glass, and it too puts out a few trails. But the most requested item to try next was a cell phone. So now are phones radioactive? When we put it into the cloud chamber, we have to wait for the system to cool down before any trails will form, but even with the phone on and connected to the internet, there are absolutely no trails to be seen. But cloud chambers only can see alpha and beta particles, they can't see gamma rays. So let's try something else. This is a Geiger counter that can detect all the dangerous forms of radiation. Here it is sitting on the bench, and this is normal background levels of radiation. Now here it is sitting on a cell phone. Absolutely no difference whatsoever. For context, here's it next to something actually radioactive. So I think this should put the very silly myth that phones are radioactive to bed. Tell us in the comments what you want to see us test next.